Good evening, Brian. It's Thursday, and that means it's time for a Thursday Top 5. So I was sitting there earlier tonight trying to think of what some possible topics for a Thursday Top 5 would be tonight, because I couldn't really think of any earlier. I've been thinking about it all day, and I didn't really come up with anything. And then Lulu suggested, why don't I do Top 5 Favorite Scary Movies? Well, I've already done Top 5 Favorite Scary Movies. Yeah, but I just scrolled back through all of your vlogs, and it was literally a year ago, so I think it's probably time that you could do another one. That's a good point. So here we are. Um, so this is Top 5 Favorite Scary Movies Part 2. Um, like the first time, which I posted on August 11th of 2016, if you want to go back and look at it, these are in no particular order, mostly because I don't know that I could rank them. I just like them all. Uh, so the first one that I want to talk about is The Conjuring. Um, this is based on a true story that really happened. There's an actual couple, Ed and Lorraine Warren, who were demonologists and who investigate paranormal things. This is before all of the TV shows of ghost hunters and all of those, you know, people out in cemeteries with recorders looking for EVPs, you know, these people were a little bit older school than that and investigated, you know, things that actually happened. I'm sure you've heard of the Amityville Horror, there's a bunch of movies about it, but it's about a family in New York where a guy ended up murdering his kids and wife. Um, they investigated that, but The Conjuring is based on a, one of their actual cases, one of the things they actually investigated. Um, and it's really good, and it's really, really creepy, and unsettling, and scary, and it's just a really, really well-done modern horror movie, and I love it a whole bunch. One of the other great things about it is that it sort of spawned a whole world of related movies, with the Warrens being the linchpin. And so now there's a number of other movies that are based on other things that the Warrens have investigated, one of which is the second movie that I want to talk about, and that's Annabelle Creation. So the first Annabelle movie came out as a sort of prequel spin-off from the original Conjuring, and then Annabelle Creation is a prequel to Annabelle. It shows you how the doll initially became a um, conduit for demonic possession. Um, this is the most recent one that came out. We just saw it in the theaters last weekend, and oh my goodness. I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was really, really enjoyable, really, really well done, and it was really scary. Um, and this is from someone who watches a lot of scary movies, but there were points in the theater where it, like it is, we, we were unsettled. It was very, very good. So if you like scary movies, Animal Creation is pretty awesome. I would definitely recommend it. It's great. It's really well done. It also doesn't do a lot of the um, less creative horror movie tropes to get you scary, but it's scary because it actually builds tension and is spooky and it's just really, really well done. And there really wasn't a lot that I could find wrong with it. So it's a great one. Um, the next one I want to talk about is Get Out. This is a pretty recent one as well, and it's sort of a cross between a horror movie and more of like a psychological thriller type thing. I don't want to give too much away, and it's hard to sort of talk about it without giving away major plot points, but I think you should see it. It's really fun. It's really interesting. Um, it, lots of people were talking about it when it came out. It's really well received, um, and it's just a really well done movie. It's, it's creepy, and it, there's a twist and it really makes you think and it messes with your head and it's just, it's really neat and it's really fun. And it's, it's you know, you watch the movie as you get to different points in the movie and when you finish the movie you're like, oh, this happened. Like it's very surprising and all that. So it's really fun. The next one I want to talk about is Evil Dead. Now this is a movie that originally came out, I think in the 70s or early 80s, a while ago. And while I have seen that one and did like it, I'm specifically referring to the more recent remake of Evil Dead. Um, it is pretty good. It's it's just a more of like a classic, you know, you're a group of teenagers are out in the woods and they're being, you know, experiencing some bad things. Um, so it's, you know, it's pretty classic in terms of the plot and the storyline and all of that. And it, you know, explores a lot of horror movie tropes and all that, but it's just really well done. It's, it's scary. Um, it's a little bit disturbing at points. Like I wouldn't necessarily recommend it if you're not into horror movies, because there's some scenes that are pretty unsettling and upsetting and it's not, it's a little bit rough sometimes, but it's scary. Um, and I think it was pretty universally well regarded. Um, and it was just really, it's a solid movie. It's a solid piece of, you know, 2010's horror of modern horror. It's, it's definitely in that, in that group of good ones. Um, and the last one that I want to talk about is one that came out a couple years ago, and it's called Mama. Um, I really like this one. It was interesting and different, but it was uh, pretty good. It sort of centers on these um, two little girls who I think are abandoned in the woods and end up being raised by this sort of demonic entity. Um, that's really all I want to say about it without giving too much away. But it's really well done. Um, plus, the, visually, it's a really interesting movie to watch. Um, the way they do some of the effects are really great. And a lot of the things that you would think are special effects are actually practical effects. So that's also a really cool aspect of it. 
Um, so I think those are all the five that I want to talk about. They're all really solid movies. I think we own most of them. If, if obviously the ones that just came out, like Get Out and Annabelle Creation, we don't have yet. But I think we own most of the ones that are out on DVD and we plan to get the ones when they come out because they're definitely like important pieces of modern horror movies and they're, you know, good parts of a collection of scary movies. So I would recommend them if you want to branch out into more scary movies. I think they're all pretty solid. So I think that's it for this week's Top 5. Brian, I hope you liked it. I know you're not the biggest fan of scary movies, but if you decide you want to watch some, these are all good ones to check out. Um, I think that's it for tonight, but I look forward to seeing your weekend vlog in a day or two, and I hope you have a good night.